Hey folks, it's AB from Colorado Mountain Living, and I wanted to show you a video about how we finished up our railing here on the loft. So this weekend we spent time doing a lot of the finish work for the wood. It has been a work in progress over the last week or so, finding the actual tree that we were going to use, and then the process of turning a tree in the woods into a decent railing. So I want to show you guys how that came out and how it all came to be. But I think, um, I think you'll be entertained by the ingenuity that Ryan shows in how he used the tools to make such a smooth surface without even having a bandsaw uh, mill to do the job. So this is a really long piece, there were 17 feet of tree that we took out of our forest and turned it into a railing. So hope you guys enjoy. Taking a look around the woods behind our house here, we've, we're looking for a tree specifically that wasn't lying on the ground. We do a lot of uh, thinning of trees for fire mitigation in the woods, and we were trying to find one that was really straight and long, but didn't have any kind of rot on it because uh, it was lying on the ground. Okay. So the end is rotten, but the inside's hard. That's good. Let's cut off the rotten end. Cool. How long is that? 20 feet? Plenty. Of course, you picked one with all the branches on it. <laughs> so after the process of taking all the branches off, we found our prize tree and carried it home almost a half a mile. <laughs> it seemed like it seemed a lot. It didn't look very big, but the longer you carried it, the heavier it got, it felt like. <laughs> wow, man, that looks like a primitive method. <laughs> Working on our railing here, trying to get a, a uh, flat side. Bandsaw. Oh, yeah. Bandsaw. Yeah. That's what that big chisel is for. So Brian's doing his initial cut with a skill saw. The blade goes in a couple of inches deep and then he's using a combination of the chisel and some prying to pry off strips of the log. Of course this creates two different planes because you're going from two opposite sides. So he's using the grinder to kind of level out those planes to get a more smooth surface. Certainly a lot smoother looking. Yeah, You're trying to even out that groove? It's flat in here. Yeah. This is the, it's gonna face down? That faces down. Oh, okay. And then I'll do some trimming on the other side as well. So I got, I got basically got that three inches on that and thick. Oh yeah. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. And here Brian's employing one more tool to help level out the surface of the railing and that's using a planer. So he's just shaving down the surface to create that smooth, smooth top and bottom of the railing. And it's doing a pretty good job just uh, creating, just leveling out those two areas where he used the, the skill saw. Certainly looking skinnier. Two and a half inches. <laughs> Ooh, fancy. So after Brian got it to the thickness that he wanted on each side and got it as smooth as he wanted, he had to work on getting that length perfect. So he's got it on a couple table saws before bringing it inside. So he's just cutting, trimming the edges and he wants to make sure the edges have a tight fit against the timbers upstairs. So he did a little bit more sanding as well, so as some finish work on the beams. So I think he did used uh, some heavier grit, maybe 130 and then 220 uh, to do to fit to finish off the surface of the railing. And now he's just trimming the ends, I think, just a few inches off each end to get that join. And then the other piece he's got to do is sort of trim the corner because where it butts up against the timber, there is a little bit of an angle. So he's sort of cutting a 45 here just on the very edge of the railing. So that will make a nice tight fit against the beam. Ooh, there you go. Oh. Looks good from that side. Looks better from this side. Mm -hmm. It overlaps a little bit more. Mm -hmm. It's all snugger the other way. I think just the way it's, and the way I cut it, the way the beams are twisted a little bit, uh -huh. joints at the end, but there's more overlap on the posts. Uh huh. With it looking this way. Yeah, looks good on this side. a little bit more, a little bit more camouflage, the color that it is now, because it blends right into the ceiling. Yeah. I'll, like with the, the lighter underside, I feel like if we went the dark stain, it would, well, I don't know. Ooh, that's gonna look nice. Comes the beam, all finished. We've got to bring it around the long ways because it's so long. Can't bring it up the stairs. Oh, 
Okay. It's a morning workout. Yeah. <laughs> Let me zoom into the corner here and show you where he trimmed that little bit off the end of the railing because see where the beam is, it's got that little bit of an angle. So just for that snug fit, we needed to have that cut. Uh, because the beams twist and stuff, so you have to just make sure it's a, a good custom fit. And he had pre-drilled the holes during the test fitting, so he just bolted those into place as well using the same bolt system as he used for the railing. So overall, you know, I think it, you know, even in this end has got a snug fit too. And I like we decided not to do the stain, just polyurethane only. But because it's got some both light and dark color to it, I think it has a nice look overall. afterwards I figured out I totally forgot I had the chainsaw cutter. Oh that prazi. Yeah I could have cut that. Oh so, so we I could have made a little jig just to ride the saw. You mean the the prazi thing. Oh the, the blade yeah. Yeah. Well I'll use, I'll use that next time see how it works. Yeah we got a few more railings to build so Two, uh, two by sixes up on edge because I got some long ones. Mm -hmm. Put the log in the middle and I can just run the saw right on top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we did it the, the artisan way yeah. with less fancy tools. Yeah. I like the color of it, I think. Yeah. Choice that matches the ceiling. Yeah, it's just kind of like a camouflage blends right in. So pretty cool, huh? To try to find a tree in the woods behind your house and turn it into a nice log, rustic, live-edged railing for our loft. So really, we're really pleased with the way it turned out. You know, at first we were thinking we might use uh, some stain, but actually it looks better, I think, just in its natural, the natural hues. It has a little bit of light and dark variation to it, and it kind of blends right in with the ceiling, so that works out pretty well. Uh, I think it's a little bit more subtle that way, without instead of being a contrast like the, the dark beams are up here. So we definitely like the way it came out, nice and smooth, like baby's butt. That was all of that planing and uh, sanding and uh, grinding just to get the surface really smooth and there's two to three coats of polyurethane on it because doing the work outside and it was a little bit windy we kept getting bugs stuck to it the sawdust would kick up and get on the surface of it and everything so it was always a little bit more work to get the um, smooth surface so anyway that was our project over the weekend and we got started on another one Brian's working on the forms for the concrete countertop. So that is what's gonna be coming next around the corner. It might take us a few days because we are expecting some poor weather. So I'm not sure if we'll be able to mix up the concrete or not outside because it uh, just depends on how the weather's gonna go and that we might end up um, pouring those inside. So anyway, that's gonna be another one coming up is the concrete forms 
for the countertops in the kitchen. So that'll be really fun, guys. But thanks for joining in. Love to hear your opinions on the railing and uh, any questions that you may have. But we're definitely pleased with the way it came out and really just the cost of some hardware and some varnish. And think, you know, maybe next time we'll be able to get to use the tool that Brian had thought of. The uh, We have a little chainsaw beam cutter that we could fashion into some type of bandsaw. So uh, we might be able to use that next time to do the rest of the railings around the stairwell. Anyways, guys, that's the update from us at Colorado Mountain Living. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.